Hi, my name is Joe Duran. I just played America the Beautiful. I'm going to show you a few tips that will help you take a single note melody line and flesh it out with some chords. Let's look at that melody line. That's the root note of the scale. We're in the key of C because this is a C note and it's the one melody note. Um, it's on the third string, fifth fret. And once I have a melody line, I can put chords to it by just placing those melody notes as either thirds or roots of chords. And I'm going to show you how to do that. One thing you should keep in mind and you should have some knowledge of is in a harmonized key, you need to know whether the chords are major or minor. The one chord and the four chord are major chords, major sevenths. The two, the three, and the six chords of a key are minor seventh chords. The five chord is a dominant seventh, and the seven chord is a minor seven flat five. That's just the way harmonized chords work. Now, the concept that I use in order to place melody notes as thirds of chords is I know the chord forms that have melody notes, that carry melody notes, as thirds on the third string, the second string, the first string. What I mean by that is I know that if the melody note is on the third string, an E form chord carries its thirds on the third string. If melody notes exist on the second string, I know that an A form chord can be used because it carries its thirds on the second string. If the melody notes are on the first string, I'll use a D form because I know a D form carries its thirds on the first string. That last melody note that we're going to come up to, when I want to place it as a root, I can use either an E form or a G form because I know that those forms carry their roots on the first string. So let's go through that melody line and put chords to it in each case placing the melody notes as thirds of chords. That's one melody note harmonized as a third of a chord. I'm using an E form chord because the melody note is sitting on the third string. So one melody note, part of a six chord, two melody note, part of a seven chord. Now we're coming up to the second string for the third melody note, part of a one chord. Major seventh form, now not a minor seventh form because the one chord in a key is a major seventh. So three melody note, part of the one chord. Four melody note, part of the two chord. Five melody note, part of a three chord. Now we've jumped up to the first string for the sixth melody note. We're using the D form because it's the first string now. So sixth melody note, part of a four chord. Seventh 
third melody note, part of a five chord. I'm playing a D form dominant seventh because I know that the that the five chord is a dominant seventh chord. When I come back up to that one melody note, it's the end of the phrase or line. So now I want to harmonize the one melody note as a root of its own chord. I can use a G form right there, or I can use an E form. Now I'm going to play the first part of that line, American the Beautiful, using just thirds and roots. basic framework. Now do I need to always place melody notes as thirds of chords? No, of course not. I can place them as fifths, I can place them as sevenths, or even upper extensions like ninths, elevenths, and thirteenths. Um, it's helpful to know how the forms work when it comes to placing melody notes as something other than a third. Um, but you can get the hang of it. One of the tricks that I like to use is you have a melody note, let's take the fire right here. It's part of a three chord, three chord where it's a third. The five melody note is the third of a three chord. I can make the five melody note, of course, part of the one chord, where it's the fifth. I can make it part of the two chord. From right there or right there. Part of the three chord, I can make it part of the four chord. I can make it, of course, part of the fifth chord, where it's the root of its own chord. Make it part of the sixth chord. I can make it part of the seventh chord. In other words, it's a nice way to change a bass by putting it as different parts, as different chords. But the basic harmonization of keeping the melody note as a third will always get you a sound that sounds like the single note melody line. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, if you like it please vote me up on Ovation because uh, I don't have an Ovation guitar in my collection, my very small collection, but I sure would like one. Thanks for watching.